they want to rule the world. They want to get Gentile riches, and they want to um, they want to rule the Gentiles. They don't consider Gentiles fully human beings, and in fact, as an end game, they have this uh, strange doctrine, Adam Kadmon doctrine, which Adam Kadmon of, uh, originally was, according to Zohar and Talmud, he was androgynous. You know, Adam ma- was Adam, like he wasn't male or he was male female in one body, and this is why you see this transgender agenda today, and there are laws, very serious laws, passing in Alberta, Canada. Is Zionism behind the transgender movement? You know, I don't think that, personally, I don't think Zionist Christians are aware of this. They're not aware of many details of what is But is Zionism. But I think that, yes. Does the transgender movement get its origin in Zionism? Yes, it gets its origin in Zionism and it gets its origin in the Talmud, Zohar, and Kabbalah. It's a Kabbalistic doctrine of Adam Kadmon, which is uh, eventually they have this doctrine called Tikkun Olam, repairing the world. So how do they want to repair the world? They want to bring it to the original. Who was original? Adam, he was androgynous. So now they're putting specific things in food and drink, and they're uh, basically their end game is to make um, humans that on Earth that will survive whatever it is they're bringing uh, androgynous. The transgender agenda. What they're really trying to do is undo God's creation. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So they are at they are at odds with the Creator. Right. 